Hi, welcome to your Jayco Whitehawk 28RL. We're going to start your video on the outside of the trailer. Come to the front. The propane system. You'll see here we have your two 30 pound tanks and we have the crossover valve. See on the crossover valve, whichever way that this is pointing is the tank it'll draw from. However, if this tank empties, it'll automatically draw from the opposite tank, regardless of which way this is turning. Next, on the front of your trailer, we bring attention to the battery storage. We also have solar ready hookup as well as the breakaway control for this unit. You have a power tongue jack and a port here. If the power isn't working, there's a manual crank in the front storage compartment. You can uh, manually raise and lower the trailer. Come along the side here. We have the front storage compartment. See there's some lighting. Go straight through the other side. We have your part power adapter. And we have your uh, tabletop for your barbecue. Here we have a flush for your uh, black water tank. Looking down here, we have your black and gray water tank valves and a secondary gray water tank valve as well as the output for both black and gray water. We have your satellite or cable input for the entire trailer here. And of note, we have a stabilizing jack. There's four on the trailer. These are not used to level the trailer. They're used to stabilize only. They're located at the four corners of the trailer. We have ladder access to the roof as well as your power supply for your park connection. Here we have your city water connection or your uh, park connection and right below that we have the outdoor shower. Continue around the back we have your barbecue. The barbecue comes with a drip tray secured underneath. It should not travel with it in. It should be removed prior. Uh, it works via quick connect. So you'll see that there is a port for the propane at the back of the trailer and a valve. Quick connect. Open the valve and then same on this end. And then you would light with your barbecue lighter. Continuing along, we have your freshwater uh, tank input. And then the outside access to your hot water tank. Of note here, your drain plug and your pressure release valve. It's important to note here, this is the venting for your fridge uh, and this is the drain for your fridge. It's important that you don't block this as it needs air to circulate. Uh, because this is under your awning, it is important to note that when the furnace is in use, this will be very hot, so just be, be careful. Here we have a mount for an outside TV as well as the cable hookup or satellite hookup and GSTI uh, outdoor plugs. You'll note that on the outside we also have two speakers so you can listen to the music from the stereo inside underneath your awning. Then we'll come to the other side of your outdoor storage compartment. You'll see that there is a GFCI plug 
as well as the manual crank I spoke about earlier for your stabilizing jacks and for your uh, tongue jack. And here we have a neat little uh, table that stores right in the front compartment. So we'll move to the inside of your trailer now. Uh, we'll start by turning on the lights, your control panel here. We have the main switch for the main lights in the living room and dining room, and we have your slide. So we'll extend the slide now so you can see what happens. While we're extending the slide, we'll note there's a carbon monoxide uh, propane detection unit. There's a button on the front. It's a good idea to press that periodically just to make sure it's still functioning properly. So that is the slide all the way out and it does the same when you retract. Um, of note here you have, for your hot water heater, if you want to use the hot water heater you have to change the switch to the hot water heater. If you wish to use your fireplace it needs to be switched back. So Oftentimes what will happen is the hot water heater isn't working and a lot of times it's simply that switch. We also have security lighting which is located around the outside of the trailer. We have the awning light and the awning control. So you can see the awning. And we also have electric gas hot water heater and your water pump. So moving in to the interior of the trailer further, you will note smoke detector. So a good idea to press the center button uh, every six months to, to a year just to, uh, to make sure it's functioning properly. Next we'll come to the fridge. We have the on off uh, and we have, if the button is out, then you're going to be working off gas. If it's in, it'll be auto or most likely electric. Uh, your stove has automatic. Just turn it to the light position and turn it on. The oven, same thing, but you press and hold. Uh, and you'll have to use your barbecue lighter to light the pilot while pressing and holding this on the light position press and hold use the lighter to light the pilot we have some additional sleeping here lift that up this pulls out Of your stereo system with two zones one zone second zone being outside and the first zone being inside the trailer uh, your fireplace here again please note that the fireplace only works uh, if it is switched to fireplace uh, it's also important to note that there's a button here you can maybe see that green light Turn on and off. There's a little button beside that. It. It's really hard to show on the video. That uh, that will switch you between your antenna and your cable hookup. So if one or the other isn't working properly, try this button. That may help in that regard. So we have another important safety feature: emergency exit. Pull down on the tab. Handle up. Push out. Pull this up, remove the screen, and you can escape to safety. Next, we'll come to your thermostat. It's a capacitive touch button, so you don't have to press it hard. It's just a light touch. You can cycle through, cool, now the furnace, and off, or just a fan setting. 
going into your bathroom you'll note that you have switches for lights for the fan as well as GC, GC, G, excuse me GFCI plug by your vanity We have another emergency window that operates the same as the previous one. Under bed storage. Also uh, some reading lights. And these blinds are pretty neat. You just simply pull them down and push them up. You'll see that in the bedroom, there's a mount for a TV if you have one, as well as the cable input and switch for the bedroom lights. You'll also note there are USB connectivity uh, for cell phones or other items that can be charged in that manner. And also of note, this is a little power bar or power connection center. You lift that up, it's got two receptacles, two USB. Push that in, push it back down. Also, this is a neat little feature. You can put uh, maybe cleaning sponge or something in there. Uh, we have access to your water pump and the hot water heater under there. Um, the water pump, uh, there's a bypass valve on the back of it that will switch it between uh, using the fresh water tank and your antifreeze jug. So if you're winterizing it yourself, you'll need to access that. The hot water heater, there's a bypass valve uh, in the back of that. Uh, that switches it from basically using the hot water tank to skipping it. Again, that's more for winterization. And the last thing that we want to look at before we end the tour of your trailer is your power center. This is where you'll find all your breakers and fuses. Usually the first step to go if anything isn't working the way you think it should. Congratulations on your purchase of your Jayco Whitehawk. We hope you have many years of fun to come.